Hi, I'm Topman Paul Dickey and this is yet another episode of Code Tribe Extra. I want to continue from where I stopped in the previous video and go ahead to install Betty. So on GitHub, I have a copy of the repository where the, the, the shell script that installs Betty and other necessary documents are contained. Okay, so that's it there. This thing is available on the intranet. It's there on your intranet. A lot of times, the questions you're asking, uh, the answers are there for you on the internet. That's why you need to ask pairs, people who have seen it before you. So I'll go ahead and open it. And here it is. So I, the next thing I want to do is click this green button here and click here to copy. And that's it. I have it now. I'll go to my terminal to bit clone it. But if you saw the previous video, you should know that I don't have Git installed here. So we need to install Git. Yeah. And if you don't install Git, and I do bit clone and paste this link here. This is what will happen. So we need to install git before we we'll be able to git clone. Okay, I'm assuming that um, why enter. I'm assuming that um, the one watching this knows what Betty is or have an idea of what Betty is. So I don't intend teaching what Betty is, you know, or showing you how to use Betty, how to use Betty. But it's simple. Betty is about it's about helping you maintain standard, you know, some documentation standard, you know. So it, 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 it's about um, clarity and readability. It makes your code, you know, become it's easy to read, you know, and clear enough to understand. So uh, there, are, there are codes that will work normally, but Betty will not let you, <laughs> not let your, your checker pass you, you know, to not approve it. So to appease in, um, Appealing to, let's say, appeasing Betty is not a hard thing. It's just to understand what Betty wants and how to please Betty. You can ask your peers, contact me, feel free. So let's get clone again. Let's get clone. Okay, he was successful. That's it there. We are going to move into the directory of Betty to uh, install. Like I told you, you don't need sudo here. We have ash at the end of our problem, so we don't need to do. Okay, I'm going to put it as well. I didn't see any error. Let's install an editor, a test editor, to test whether bet is working. To you. I'm just going to write a Y, enter. I'm just going to write a C program um, and try to use Betty to check it, see whether bet is working. Yeah. So this is if, if when you have all these things installed in your phone, you don't need to be bothering again. You can be doing your project straight in your phone. In fact, through all through Spiritual and Spirit 2, you can use your phone for your project. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it's just so you shouldn't be bothering that uh, you have computer or your computer is not available or it's fault, you just like that. But then try and fix your computer. You're not even listening. So let's create a test of C5. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm just gonna Find a simple program so include stdio.h um, so int main void no better will not take it where you don't put your where you don't add comment so let me put the void here and open code brace so I'm going to print welcome and Return zero. And put it in bracket anyway. And then close this. So um, escape column W Q. Enter. Okay, that's it. Oh, I wrote it inside. This is wrong. <laughs> I wrote it inside. Um, let me move it out to the parents directory. Um, I wrote it inside the directory for Betty. I shouldn't be doing anything in that directory. Okay, and I'm gonna move to the parent directory and what is what's up with me and KS. Alright, let's better this file and see. Exactly what I expected. No description of fun for function, so it's working. So like, share, and do subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more, more enlightening videos, short videos. Follow me on GitHub, Facebook, Twitter, and TPODK. Connect with me on LinkedIn. I'll be glad to meet you and learn from you and teach you what I know as well. Thank you so much for watching.